In a famous lecture in 1959, physicist Richard Feynman told the world there's plenty of room at the bottom, outlining the possibility of manipulating objects at a microscopic scale to advance the field of synthetic chemistry. Although the concept did not gain immediate popularity, over time, researchers in the field of nanotechnology used Feynman's words to explain the implications. Over time, the growing need for digital storage pushed scientists towards the possibility of finding more room in nature's oldest data storage system, which is the DNA. Now, a team of scientists from the Beckman Institute for Advanced Science and Technology in the US have developed a way to add more letters to the DNA that will allow researchers to further expand the data storage capabilities of the DNA. In this video, I talk about how researchers added the new letters to DNA and the development of a new technology that can read this artificial DNA to interpret the data. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. DNA can be a powerhouse for storing all kinds of media. Expanding the DNA's molecular makeup and developing a precise new sequencing method enabled the team to transform the double helix into a robust, sustainable data storage platform. In the age of digital information, the global archive is growing heavier by the day. Even paper files, old books and documents are being digitized not only to save space, but to make the information more accessible and to protect it from natural disasters. Be it scientists, social media influencers, or just a person wanting to document and store cat videos, everyone stands to benefit from a secure, sustainable data lockbox. And according to the researchers, the DNA fits this bill. DNA not only survives long periods of time, it is also designed to weather Earth's harshest conditions, sometimes for tens of thousands of years, making them a viable data source. In fact, a lot of what we know about past life on Earth comes from the information extracted from the DNA samples preserved in fossils. To give some context, the amount of data generated on the internet on a single day can be stored in about a gram of DNA. Another important aspect of DNA is its natural abundance and near-infinite renewability. On the other hand, one of the most serious shortcomings of the most advanced data storage systems on the market today is the limited quantity of raw materials, especially silicon. Silicon microchips end up in landfills within a few years of use. At a time when the planet is undergoing a climate crisis, there is an urgent need to shift to sustainable storage technologies. New green technologies for DNA recording are emerging that will make molecular storage even more important in the future. In this study, the team of scientists added their own twist to the age-old data storage system. Every strand of DNA contains four chemicals called nucleobases, which are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine, often referred to by the letters A, G, C and T. These letters arrange and rearrange themselves along the double helix into combinations that scientists can decode or sequence to make meaning. The researchers expanded the DNA's already broad capacity for information storage by adding seven synthetic nucleobases to the existing four-letter lineup. With a large set of letters available, the DNA can encode more complex media. Since this is the first time that researchers used chemically modified nucleotides for information storage in DNA, the team also had a new challenge. Current technology is not capable of interpreting chemically modified DNA strands. To solve this problem, they combined machine learning and artificial intelligence to develop a first-of-its-kind DNA sequence readout processing method. Their solution can discern modified chemicals from the natural ones and differentiate each of the seven new molecules from one another. The team tried 77 different combinations of the 11 letters and their method was able to differentiate each of them perfectly. This translation was possible because of nanopores, which are tiny proteins with an opening in the middle through which the DNA strand can easily pass. The team found that nanopores can detect and distinguish each individual monomer unit along the DNA strand, whether the units have natural or chemical origins. However, there are considerable challenges with DNA data storage that are limiting the possibility of rolling out such technologies for mass usage. 
To begin with, the current process of writing and reading DNA sequences is very time consuming, which means that one cannot instantly access the stored data. However, research groups across the world continue to work on the concept and have made significant advances. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.